Hey guys, this is Deb with Four Seasons Crafts. How are you? Okay, it is 10 minute Tuesday. So I am going to show you how to make a card in 10 minutes. And um, so last time I got a little crazy. So we will get started. I'm a little late in joining, had a lot going on. All right, we are gonna make a fun fold. So some of this I've done ahead of time just to save a little bit on um, on time. But this is a piece of starry sky. So I'm kind of doing um, kind of doing this video, uh, kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. So this is one of the in colors that's going away. But of course, you guys can use um, any color paper, but it is 11 by four and a quarter. And it is scored at three and nine or 11 sixteenths. So three and 11 sixteenths. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna score it once and then you're gonna take this piece and just bend it over to line them all up. All right, so score once and then take, and then you're gonna create this kind of accordion fold here like that, okay? And as some of you are thinking, well, that is a very short card, we are gonna remedy that really quickly. So then what I did is I have three circles also cut out of the starry sky, and this is the three and a quarter inch, or I'm sorry, this is the three and three eighths inch punch. All right, so um, I, I did three of those. Then we are going to use the da, 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 stargazing 12 by 12 paper now i do not have the stamp set um it was great i uh, you know I, I i thought it was cool i just would never use it so i didn't buy it um but i did buy this paper because i just i don't know i thought it was super super cool and i'm going to show you guys some of the pieces because we're going to use these but here's one that's like a galaxy and then these right here look at how i i it's actually coming through quite well on the on the camera, but I'm sure in person it's even better. But all these little colored circles, I, I love them. We're gonna punch some of them out. We need three, and I'm going to take a two and a quarter inch punch, also in the online store, and I'm going to cut out three of these circles. Now, I want it to be... Um, more like this one right here where it's bigger. So uh, I'm gonna maybe have to, I might have to go cut, do a little, yeah. I don't really want it to be that size. I could take that one, but that's all right. So let's take this one here and we're gonna cut out a blue circle. And maybe we'll just do the ones on, on this sheet of paper just because I think we're gonna be able to get there. Now, I know some of you might be thinking that that is a big waste of paper, um, but actually we can we can do a lot a lot with this with this other paper. I can uh, take this on the other side and use it for trim or uh, you know the the little stars over here. We can use those for something else. But right now we want circles, and I used to think when I would see people do this and I thought that is, that is a waste of paper, but you always have so much left over. I feel that um, this is perfect right here. This is almost a perfect uh, three and a quarter. And then we'll do a purple one. Sorry, you guys, I'm getting out of, there we go. But I will tell you right now with scissors, you could literally trim this out too. I don't think we'll have time to do that today, but all right, so here we go. So what we're gonna do next is we are going to adhere these beautiful circles onto our pieces of paper. Does anybody know what we're doing yet? Anybody, any ideas what we might end up with here? Okay, so we're gonna, just gonna glue one on each piece here. And again, they all need to be the same. All your circles need to be the same size. Although, you could do something actually a little different, but uh, I'll explain that when we, after we start assembling our, our card here. 
Okay. There we go. So we have those three. So we're going to set those off to the side. Now we're going to do a little trimming of this beautiful stargazing background. And what we're going to want is we are going to want a piece that is three and a half by four and an eighth. All right. So three and a half by four and an eighth. So this is three and a half. And now we're going to do four and an eighth, four and an eighth. And we're going to just trim those right down. And I'm going to end up having to do uh, another piece here. So we'll just take this right here and go three and a half. Or actually, we'll go four and an eighth. How about that? We'll go four and an eighth this way. And then we'll do four and an eighth, and then we need three and a half. So this gives us... Um, kind of a nice variety. So now we're going to take our card base and we are going to put these on each one of our card panels. All right. So this one, of course, is going to be the front. So, uh, you know, I think I'll do that just so I can get a little bit of that blue in there. And the rest, just you can put them in however you would like. go. You guys can keep me honest on my 10 minutes. I really should do a little timer. I keep thinking I'm going to, but I'm sure you guys will give me a little grace here. <laughs> Just a little grace. All right. And then we're going to put this one here. And then for the fun part. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take these and we are gonna put them about halfway. Now, I mentioned this is only four and a quarter, so we can have, we have another five and a half, so we have that whole area there sticking up. So this is five and a half here, so you can see probably right about there will give me uh, enough space um, in order to um, fit that in an envelope. And that's what you want, right? And look, do you guys all see what I just did? Okay, that's like no fun. Um, you only put glue on half of it, all right? So we'll just fix that, right? And then I'll have to put like a piece of paper or something um, on it. I'm, I'm burning time, huh? Okay, so we'll do it like this, and we'll fix that later. That's okay. So if you guys get this card in the mail, if I send it to you specifically, whoever you might be, um, you can remember, oh, yeah, that's the card that Debbie, you know, glued shut. All right, so now here we go. So this one, of course, I want to be right here. Now, the best way to do this is going to be to lay it on here, okay? Lay it right on top of the other circle. And then I'm only going to glue half of it there, okay? So I'm going to put it right here, lay it there flat, hold it down, and then I'm just going to close this part of my card. Then... We're gonna take the last one here and put adhesive right here on just the portion and do the same thing. And now we're gonna lay this right over top. And again, we want it to line up with our other little um, world, so to speak. And then we're gonna have Ta-da! Isn't that so fun? And now we're just going to stamp a greeting. And this one's just going to say, um, hello. All right. We're going to keep it nice and simple. 
But I was thinking, I thought, oh, if you guys have like a, you know, you're out of this world or anything like that, you know, those would all be super cool. My hand is filled with uh, glue. All right, so we are gonna just take this and stamp hello here. There we go, in starry sky, by the way. And then we're gonna trim this up. And we're gonna use our, we'll use this right at about, oops, right at a little bit more than an inch there. And then let's turn it and grab a little bit more of that excess off. You guys can see that. So we'll get it right about mm, seven eighths. I think we can do that. Yep, there we go. And now we'll take our tagger punch and we're just gonna put that right in there and grab a little tag on one side and we're going to trim up the other side. And that gives us a nice little hello. And we are going to put that on um, another piece of starry sky. We're gonna kind of mount that just a little bit here. And we're just gonna label it right on top, just kind of like that. It doesn't have to be even. We just want something that uh, adds a little bit of, little bit of depth. Oops, here we go. There we go. And we will put that right underneath there. And then what we can do, because even though when we put it down there, again, like I said, we just need a little piece. We're going to give it dimension. But then now we can just run this right through our paper trimmer. And now we can put it on there, put a little piece of ribbon underneath it. And we'll use this black ribbon and just kind of tie it like, or uh, kind of put it like that, where it goes back and forth. Attach that using some glue dots, which by the way, you guys, those glue dots are already on low inventory. I just went out and placed an order for some thick cardstock. I checked out and when I was checking out and I put in my credit card and said finish and it said, sorry, you have something in your cart that is no longer available. Literally, you guys, I checked out too late. So the thick cardstock is now on back order. So I am praying that it comes back because if many of you know, that is one of the items that is going up in in price uh, in the new catalog. And I am going to be posting all of that too. So there are definitely some, get this out of the way, definitely some things that you're going to want to make sure you get uh, before they go too, too much further. All right. Oh, I am way past my 10 minutes. My 10 minute card has turned into a 15 minute card. All right, here you guys go. Um, and I think I need to get rid of this little guy in the middle. And there you have it. So um, now you could add, I have a few um, embellishments here, but we'll skip those. But what you would do is now put in a piece of white here, but isn't, isn't that cool? When you get it, you just think it's one.